Hello, this is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi, and welcome to this video. This is the very simple card we're making today, so let's get started. I'm going to start with some stamping, and I've got here a scrap of Whisper White. And the stamp set I'm going to use is this one called All Night Thanks, and I'm going to use the thanks. I'm going to be stamping it in basic grey. Whoops. And just ink that up nicely, and then stamp that somewhere in the centre. like that, close it up, I always close up my ink pads because otherwise I'm going to stick everything in them, I've already got my fingers in them so, and then I've got here the everyday label punch and I've got a piece here, a scrap piece of petal pink and I'm just going to punch out a piece like that and then we're just going to punch out again our sentiment using the same punch. So just try and get it as straight as you can. Um, that'll do. Enough faffing about with it. Okay, so then all I'm going to do is cut my backing piece here in half and then I'm going to put some snail on the back here quickly and we're just going to mat, use our petal pink piece to mat just like that. So it's roughly, there you go, um, matted and set that aside. And then this is our piece of designer series paper and this is from the Peony Garden Suite. Let me just check, yeah, Peony Garden. And we're going to cut this now up into thirds. So I'm just going to get my paper trimmer to do that. Okay, so here's the paper trimmer. And we just basically want to divide this into thirds. Now this piece actually measures 14.35 centimeters so I'm going to actually just divide it into five and five. So I'm going to do five at either end. So five centimeters here from the top piece. So that's the top piece. Then I'm just going to twist it around and do five centimeters from the bottom as well. Okay so then we have you can see the pieces fitting together there. So now we can stick down so let's bring in our card base let's just check we've got everything in here yep here's our card base so we're just going to show you what you're going to do you've got a piece here and then we're going to have a little piece here and then we're going to have Our piece here and that's how it's going to look so let's start I'm going to use some Tombow so I have a little bit of wriggle room because I think I'm going to need it right, I'm just leaving a little bit of a border around the base as much as I can and then we're going to do the same with this one. And this is when the Tombow piece is valuable because it gives you the wriggle room to get things lined up as best as you can. So you're just going to butt this up against your piece. Just make sure the piece before is properly <laughs> adhered. And then you're just going to butt the two up together like that. And I've got mine a little bit out. That's when the Tombow is so great. And then our last piece here. Oh, I'm feeling hot today. It is the hottest day of the year in Lincoln. It's meant to be 33 degrees today. And I'm sitting here with the overhead lights on. And then I've got an up light to my right. And I've got another studio light on to my left. So I think in total I've got one, two, three seven bulbs shining down on me and it is warm so that's what we have like that 
So put our Tombow away. We're nearly done. Bring back our sentiment and we are going to stick this up on using some dimensional. So let's get those out. And I usually try to put the dimensionals across the seam as well just to give added strength to everything. And as you know, I'm usually quite generous with my dimensionals, so I think that will do, even for me. Okay, there we go. Yep, all the backs are off, and then we're just going to put this in the centre here, just like that. And then I've got some rhinestones here, and I'm going to use these nice big ones because I want a good amount of bling. I'm going to put one in the centre here and then one to either side and that way I can try and get it sort of centred. Okay. So there we go. Two cards. I really like them. Very short, very easy, simple thank you cards. Well, I hope you enjoyed the project. If you did, I'd be grateful if you give it a thumbs up so YouTube know. And don't forget to subscribe to future videos. As I said before, if you want information about any of these projects that I do, um, it's always on my blog, on my website, and there will be the supply list, links to my online shop, everything you could possibly need. Um, that's all in the description box below, the links, and the links to my um, social media links are there as well, including my Facebook group. So thank you once again, and until next time, enjoy being creative. Bye.